Madison is inspired to do some sewing. However, that nasty thread just doesn't want to go through. Hmm, if you can't see the way out of this situation, you need to really zoom in. Let's see, I guess that doesn't help either, huh? And just like that, we're stuck at the very first step. Jess, please come look at this. Someone ought to show her the ropes. Or in this case, a thread. <laughs> That's simple, girl. Just lay a string on your palm and rub it with the eye of the needle until it goes through. Here you go. Thanks, Jess. It seems that all you needed was just to look into the eye of a needle. Let's make a colorful star ornament. Sew them onto a fabric tracing out a star. Fill in the whole shape by using different color threads. Now pull the string through the middle and wrap it through the needle a few times. Then push it back through the center and you're done. The star was born. This time, let's make a leaf. Follow the middle section by connecting one side of the blade to another. Make sure that the sides are a little bit behind the center thread. This will give you a more realistic pattern. It might take a while, but the result is definitely worth it. It looks like Madison has really got into sewing. I can't wait to see what she's going to create this time. Aw, that's so adorable. This looks like a half-hearted attempt. And it doesn't resemble the lovely heart we had in mind. There's gotta be a better way to trace it down. Maybe this good old pencil will do. Let's try this again. Tracing it down and nothing. Graphite doesn't seem to be a good choice for marking the fabric. Let's check our cleaning stash. No, no. That's it. Maybe this soap will show us some love. Take the cutting board and slice a small sliver from the bar. Since it's soap, you know it will wash away easily. Now let's try it one more time. I guess this cloth had a change of heart. <laughs> soap is by far the best choice for making fabrics. Madison's sewing skills are beginning to bloom. Make a simple stitch tying up two colors of threads and continue to sew around the bottom part of the flower blossom. Now simply cut through the threads and tidy up a bit. We know it seems a bit difficult, but we are rooting for you. Oh wow, this girl just doesn't want to quit. This time, she's sewing actual curtains. Look how easy it is to sew them by folding the fabric bit by bit using a fork. Amazing, Madison. You really showed us what lies behind the curtain. Anna is relaxing after an intense workout in a local cafe. This book is cool and all, but it's getting late. Reading about the icy region really gives her the chills. So it's a good thing she brought her jacket. Well, of course. The zipper just had to break at that very moment. In situations like this, it's important to keep a cool head. Look around you, girl. There's got to be something you could use. Aha! It looks like this plastic straw is reaching out to her. I'm sure all of us had this issue at least once in our lives. Put some super glue on the broken part. Then, take a plastic straw and cut a small part from it. Cut through the side and attach it to the broken part of the zipper. That's it. I guess that broken zipper really took the last straw. <laughs> Off you go, as warm as toast. Speaking of warm clothing, puffy vests tend to get a bit ripped over time. Here is a cute way to hide those holes with a simple sewing trick. Using a thicker thread, start making long loops like this. Continue to sew them close to each other around in a circle. Now wrap the string around the needle a couple of times and push it back through the hole. That's it. Your dull waistcoat really came into bloom. Ready to take on those hills? What to do with that long sleeve sweater? Rolling them up all the time can get a bit irritating. Let's patch this problem up with a simple sewing trick. Roll the sleeves up and use a colored thread to sew it in place. Following the cross stitch pattern, look at how these little snowflakes make even the simplest outfit pop. Finally, after months of peeking through the window, our package has arrived. What did you order there, Madison? Oh, I see, a new pair of jeans. Let's try them out. That's definitely not a perfect fit, girl. They seem way too loose. That's what happens when you order clothes online and forget to check the size chart. Surely, you are crafty enough to find a way out of this situation. Let's cut to the chase. No, girl, don't take this literally. We are not making another bag. Duct tape? This might not end well. 
You may as well wrap your whole leg in it. <laughs> we have been learning sewing for quite a while now. There's gotta be something we learned that could be useful in this situation. How about these pins? Oh yes, that rings a bell. Let's flip these jeans inside out and begin pinning them starting from the top where it's tight enough. Now let's put our sewing machine to work. Sew through the marked parts, removing the pins as you go. Denim is a difficult material to sew by hand, which is why we recommend the helping foot of a sewing machine. To finish, just cut off the excess material, flip it to the right side, and you're done. Looking good, girl. You really cut loose from that situation. Don't forget to check the size next time, sister. Anna is experiencing every girl's worst nightmare. There is absolutely nothing to wear. What's this? Yet another plain shirt. That's a big no-no for a fashionista like her. Well, maybe it doesn't have to be. Cut out one side of the shoulder and one strip from the bottom. Now, secure the bottom piece to the top with a safety pin and start folding it bit by bit. Just be careful not to hurt your fingers. It looks so lovely already. Let's not forget to sew it together. We recommend using the same color thread as this shirt. Lastly, just remove the pins and it's done. Oh wow, Anna, you look like you came straight out of a magazine. Now that's what we call DIY sheet. There are many different stitches to use while sewing, but it can get a bit difficult to keep them evenly spaced. Yeah, that doesn't look neat at all. A simple hack is to use your finger for measuring. Use a marker to draw two lines about five millimeters apart. Now, simply follow the lines and continue stitching. That looks so much better. Who knew that you had the answer at your fingertips all along? <laughs> Looks like we are having another hole in a sweater situation. Simply connect the loose ends with a thread like shown in our video. Just try not to leave any out. And pull both ends to hide the gap. Ta-da! Anna has really gotten into creative writing. She gets so lost in her thoughts that she doesn't notice the plot holes. Or, um, denim holes too. It doesn't take long for this witty girl to come up with a creative idea. Firstly, cut off both sleeves. Now attach the dolly to the armhole and secure it with pins. Do the same for the other side and sew it together. Don't forget to leave a hole for your arms and you're done. Oh wow, what a lovely pattern, Anna. A perfect waistcoat for warm weather. Now that we've learned the threads and needles of sewing, we can move on to something more complex. For example, let's add some sass to the pocket of this t-shirt. Just carefully follow the sewing pattern using a green colored thread. This might be a bit difficult, so watch closely. Sew through a whole line and then take a red colored thread. Pull it out from the inside and twist around a needle a couple of times to make a knot. Do the same to every stitch. Oh, look at that! What a cherry, cherry lady! Hard work really does bear fruit. Remember how we made a lovely flower design out of threads? Let's step it up a notch. Make a couple of double loops and place them on top of each other like this. Now, connect them all with the thread. Once you get the hang of sewing, it will be like a walk in the park. Lastly, cut through the loops and tidy it up a bit with a needle. Try decorating your backpack or a sweater with these flower designs. Hey Crafty Pandas! I hope you're enjoying this video as much as Jacob is. Let us know just how much by smashing that like button. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And most importantly, don't forget to leave a comment down below. We read them all. Emily is really trying her best to get ready for all the upcoming classes, but it gets really tricky when a sportswear just doesn't fit in the backpack. Looks like this pillow couldn't handle all the stuffing as well. Shall we fully destroy it? Empty out the filling and cut out one side of it. Make a couple of small cuts here as well. Fold the edges up a bit, just like this so you could sew them. Using a sewing machine would make your life a bit easier, but it's okay to do it manually. 
Now grab a shoelace and pierce a safety pin on the end of it. This will help you to insert the strings inside the folded edges of the bag. Sew the strings to the corners of the bag. For an extra touch, grab a pair of old pants and crop out the pocket. Cover the back side with a layer of glue and attach it to your bag. That's it! This huge drawstring bag will definitely fit all of your sportswear or any other necessities. The shoelaces are perfect for concealing the bag. Be sure to put an extra protein bar for some energy as well. Emily's parents are meeting Jacob for the first time. But this guy is just so busy with this old school film reel strip. What is mom gonna think about him? You need to look good, Jacob. Hmm. And dad always says that you can't be a man without a bow tie. Well, sweetheart, I hope you've finished analyzing the film because it's time to get crafty. I think he wasn't done yet. <laughs> On the ends of an old damaged film strip, put pieces of double-sided tape. Stick the parts to the middle point. Make a smaller one and attach it on. You may want to use an old bow tie and remove its strap. Now, put a drop of hot glue and stick the hipster bow tie on. Wrap the middle part using another piece of film strip. And there you have it. Well, Jacob, Emily has the final touch of your formal outfit ready just for you. Close your eyes and get ready for a surprise, sir. Yoink, and you're all done. Wow, mom and dad are gonna love this look as much as Jacob is. This film strip bow tie will surely impress them. Just be the loving boyfriend you already are, and you will be fine. After you, Lady Emily. <laughs> Hey stylish pandas, I hope you enjoyed these fashion hacks. Let us know which of them you're going to use next in the comments down below. If you want to learn more, feel free to check out our older videos. Hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay tuned for more.